Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm creating a follow-up tutorial video on a class that I had taught about two months ago which was talking about how to transform your non-airprint printer so that you could print wirelessly from an iPhone or an iPad. And at the time we had recommended two different pieces of software and they seemed to be pretty good solutions and then one of them basically stopped making their software and the other one went to this insane pricing structure and unfortunately you're going to end up seeing them again today we'll go into that later and so i wanted to give you an updated list of options for how to print from your devices to your home printer if your printer doesn't have air print compatibility so let's go over how to do it there's basically three different ways to do it one way is great and it only works on the Mac, if you have an Apple computer, that is. Uh, the other ways are ridiculous. One is a little bit easier than the other for Windows. So let's go over them. First of all, if you have yet to buy a printer and you're kind of thinking about different ones, I want you to check out our store on PC Classes Online. We have three printers that we strongly recommend. This is the one that I use by Brother. Brother, as far as machinery, makes the best damn printers out there. Okay, this is the one I use. I love it. The only downside is it doesn't have air print capability. So using this option for me is great because it gives me that only feature that I don't have right now. If you want a great air print printer, this is the one to go with. It's 79 bucks. The prices fluctuate, so it may be different when you see it. It's made by Canon, and the best part is it only takes two ink cartridges. And finally, we have a high-end version uh, by Brother. I believe that may have air print, but I'm not positive. So let's go over the three different ways. Okay, the number one absolute best way to do this is to use an app called Printopia. Now, Printopia is not actually an app that you download on your iPhone or iPad. You download it only on your computer, and it's a flat rate. It's a one-time purchase. It's 20 bucks. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, I don't want to have to pay for anything. Unfortunately, with this, I've gone through every possible option. This is pretty much the best and only way to do it. Consider this. If you don't do this, you're buying a new printer. So consider that. It's very easy to set up. You uh, just download the file. It's very lightweight. And when you install it, it actually installs into system preferences. It's not showing here only because of the fact that I have it on my administrative side. And you, all you do is basically turn it on. And that's it. And I'll show you how it works in just a minute. Now, the other way to do it and this is for Windows users. And I apologize. I wish there was a better solution out there. Who knows? Maybe if some of you find a better solution, post it in the comments. And I'll happily delete this video and redo it because I can't stand these solutions. So the next one we've covered before. This is the absolutely ridiculous one. It's called Presto. It's made by Calabos. And the part about it that's insane, first of all, it works essentially the exact same way that Printopia works. You don't have to install an app on your phone or your iPad. It's just your computer. Here's the crazy part. They charge you a monthly fee. $1.95? Really? Really, guys? Two bucks a month to print from your own printer? I just find that absolutely ridiculous. So, anyways, that's their little option here. The other... I was about to do a class on until I really started diving into it. Now, this will allow you to do it without a monthly fee. It's called Printer Pro. It works on both the iPhone and the iPad. The downsides to it is that it is not a universal app. And what that means is that if you buy it on your iPhone, you have to buy it again at a higher price on your iPad. It's $6.99 for the iPad, $4.99 for the iPhone. And the process of actually printing, depending on what you're printing, is kind of a nightmare. Because what you end up having to do is basically copy everything into the clipboard, go into their app, and then it will paste it and print it for you. So it's kind of ridiculous, but it is an option out there. You can check them out if you want to consider them. So again, if you find out a better solution, please, I am all ears just posted in the comment section and I will happily redo this video. So Printopia, absolutely number one way to do it if you own a Mac. Calabos Presto, I'd put that probably in dead last. 
and Riedel, their app Printer Pro, is right in the middle. So this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. Before we go, I just want to show you basically how the uh, app works for Printopia. So let me mirror my iPad on my computer real quick. Okay. And let's just go into an email real quick, which I have right here. Now, without having to really do anything, I just go through the exact process I normally would. I go to the Share button, Print, Select Printer, and it actually gives you a few other options that you wouldn't normally get. You can actually send it to your Mac. Kind of cool, you can create a file. Uh, send it to Dropbox or my printer, the one that you just saw. And I hit Print, and that's it. So. I hope this answers some of your questions. I know not all of you are going to be happy, but please keep checking, and if there comes out to be a better solution, you can bet that I will create a tutorial video on how to do it. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. You all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.